Hello G Nation, I'm your host G and we're gonna re-preview Andrew the Giant Hall of Fame this time with his New Year's on. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so as well as clicking that little notification bell just so you keep getting notified when I post new videos. If you do like the video, leave a like as well, please. All right, let's get on with it. So the first preview I did was Andre at five star bronze. At which time they advertised him as a god character. Now, everyone that has a clue pretty much disagreed with that. And uh, I personally thought, like most people, that he was fairly average. He wasn't bad, but he was nothing to brag about either. Uh, that was back at Five Star Bronze. Didn't really seem to get any better as he got higher. Uh, now we're going to preview him at Five Star Gold because they just released two new gears. Uh, those two gears are first, red gems do 50% more damage. And the second is all color moves start with two more move points. Now, those are definitely some pretty good big gears. Do they make a difference? On paper, I don't think so. We'll try. Now the silver gear you got from uh, the milestone 14 out of 16, I believe, in the current uh, event right now. Uh, the, one, the event for Vince, or Mr. McMahon. Uh, I got it, the silver myself. Uh, my Andre is not 5-star gold, by the way. The, he was upgraded so that I can do this preview. He's going to be reverted back. I don't remember what mine is at. I think he was like either 4-star gold or 5-star bronze. I don't remember. They keep those notes anyway. So yeah, we're going to do it at 5-star gold this time around. The uh, where, where, where you have both gear active, the gold one, if I remember well, I think was on the portal for the spend event or something like that. The spend milestone basically, they're both really hard to get. So, the first move set we're gonna have a look at is the two ended choke slam. It is a 10 MP red move, deals 69.5k damage, and choose a 3x3 area to make into blast gems. The Barog, 10 MP red move, submission generate, 9 random submission gems, and do 13.4k damage for 5 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into X break. The double underhook suplex, 7 MP green move, deal 40.5k damage, and gain 9 red MP. Now the good thing about the gear though is that it gives us more MP. So with the purge, the gear, the starting 1 MP, I mean, you, you can basically not have a MP trainer. Uh, if you don't have the perks or you're in feud and stuff like that, then you're probably going to need one. At which case I would replace uh, the uh, slick rig that I got right now by uh, steel. Uh, in this case, I did put slick because I do have those buffs. Uh, he adds 20% more damage to any colored gem. I also got JB Hell here. He's going to increase the red gem damage by 25% and the blast gem by 100%. And we're going to make an area of nine blast gems. So that's going to be helpful for that. Uh, I got Santa Ogan here. He adds one MP, but more importantly, he adds 2200 damage to all gems. And I do have Macho here, which add 20% to red and purple gems. Don't really care about the purple. I do care about the red. Uh, ideally, I would have gone for something that is red and green, but it, I don't have any such train. I, I don't even think the, uh, the uh, one exists, really. You could go with Typhoon. That could be an option. You could go with Lashley to increase the submission. Although I kind of don't want a submission to last longer because I want as much x break gems to stay on. Let's try. Uh, the, the main flaw from this is that like, it adds only red gem damage. If it was all gem damage, that'd be pretty interesting. But the fact that it's red and you kind of want to target some greens to reload your move, not typically red, so we'll see. We're going versus Ivar. Okay, so we're gonna use our green move so that we can get red ready now we're gonna run the sub because it's gonna lay down some x that we can use later 
and it's also going to get rid of his MP. Alright, now we're going to place for Blast Gemory. So, 4 moves cost 10. That means we need either 9 red or 6 greens. We do have a few greens. We do have a few reds also. Yeah, I'm going to place it here. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4. It's not going to be enough, unfortunately, though. Whatever. It might still be. So by placing it here, I'm going to connect with a bunch of those X's. They're going to blow some other stuff, and I'm going to connect with this one here, too. Good chunk of the board. 550k. We did get enough greens. But it's also not that impressive, really. Sure, he's not going to do anything, but... 500k at 5-star gold. That ain't anything to brag about. This is pretty bad. <laughs> this time I really don't have much to lay it on. If I do that, I can't even set it off. Like that. Oh, that did better 660 but again that ain't much these days Okay, where are we going to put it this time? We do have a bunch of greens. We barely have any reds, though. I put it here. Can I set it off? Yes, I can. I'm not going to get that many greens, though. If I put it here, that's going to work. We get a bunch of greens and two reds. Again, it would be much better off if that gear was any color, because there's barely any reds. I mean, we definitely can run it every turn. Like, we can do the sub. Like, he's never going to do anything because we can do the sub every single turn and get that every uh, every single turn. So we can do consistent damage. The problem is we need to do it, like, five times to get it over with. Okay, what else? Here, we're gonna get some reds and some uh, greens. I took out a bunch of the board. 590 still. Obviously, that's mitigated. Takes out a bunch of it, but still. Kicked out again. 
It's not a lot, so it's easy to kick out of. I don't even need to use my uh, green there, so I'm not going to risk it. That means I also don't have to care for greens next turn. I can go just full on for reds if there's a decent area with a lot of reds. I don't want to get rid of all those. Uh... I know I broke a lot of my X's, but I wanted to get rid of all those loot boxes. I put it here. I'm going to connect with a bunch of reds. Four fifty. It works, he can't do anything, but that took me what, like five, six times I had to run the moves? Five times, I think. All right, let's see if we can uh, get something better going. All right, second move set for Andre. We're gonna do the Scoop Slam, 13 MP red move. Finisher deals 31.1K damage, destroy 28 random gems and pin the opponent. The Power Slam, 9 MP black move. Deal 48.1k damage and choose two gems to make into red gems. Giant elbow drop, 8 MP black move, deal 46.2k damage and increase your red gem damage by 150% for three turns. Does not affect bonus damage. So this is possibly going to benefit more from the 50% extra damage from the gear. Plus we're adding 150% with that move. The downside is that it's only a choose two move. I got a 9 MP move, choose move that only selects two. That's among the lowest ones there is. So that is really bad for that. Uh, the finisher though will destroy 28 random gems, which has a chance of getting some reds into those. So trainers, we're gonna go for bright so that we start with black, because even with the gear, it's not enough to have or, or moves ready on the first turn without any MP trainer. We can only get up to seven without an MP trainer and those cost eight and nine, so I'd be short two. So basically, even without the gear, if you use the trainer, you're good. So you don't need the gear for that, the, the second one that is. Uh, we're using BGS so that we start with, uh, we're making four more uh, red gems. Uh, for the same, we're using Hall of Fame Lita, which has 5% for red gems and creates two extra. And I'm putting Hall of Fame Ogan here. Don't really care about the MP he's getting, but I do care about the 2200 more damage for every color. That's going to help the reds and that's going to help the finisher that destroys 28, which is pretty much half the board. A little over half because there's 49 gems. That's right. Oh, I didn't mention I got... Uh, I got a DX plate here, although I don't even think it worked once in the previous. Uh, medals are all armor, although like none of them are leveled or anything. All right. Well, just for look, we're gonna put the we're gonna put the look of the uh, gold one. By the way, whichever one you equip has no effect on the effects themselves. Whether you put the bronze, you still have the two bonus active. So it's really just for looks which one you put on. The effects are going to be there regardless. Okay, so let's increase our gem damage. Let's make some reds. Now this will definitely end my turn. Like, I could make it so it doesn't, but I kind of want to get as much red damage as I can. Pick those. I can get one extra. Let's put it here. One point two million. Well, that worked better. That's twice what we got the first time. And we're going to try that again. I want to make sure it wasn't a fluke. 
<laughs> I did not expect that. 1.2 is something that you can win with at 5 star gold. Although I, I did see a bunch of times people kick out of those. Especially in Feud when there's the step increase for kick out. But still, it's a pretty good number at 1.2. Let's try it again. Our red gem right now is at 18k base. Increase it to 150%. At 47k. That's gonna give us good numbers, and now we have actually a lot of reds. Not super well placed though. Nine seventy seven, actually a million. That's definitely better. All right, let's look at something else now. All right, last move set we're gonna have a look at is a variation of the first one we tried. It's gonna be the Bear Hog, 10 MP red move, submission generate night random submission gems, and do 13.4K damage for five turns. All submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into eggs break. The Jawbreaker, six MP green move, deal 20.6K damage, and choose five eggs break gems to destroy. And the double underhook suplex, 7 MP green move, deal 40.5k damage, and gain 9 red MP. So we're gonna be pretty much doing the same thing using that suplex to get our MP to get our submission out on the first turn. But then instead of having those blast gems, we're gonna rely on the jawbreaker to break those X. Now we're gonna use Slick Rick so that we do 20% for any color gem. We're going to use Bulldog so that our red gem specifically do 35% more damage. Keep in mind we do have the gear again that adds 50% to reds too. We're going to use Ogan here so that we start with one more MP and all our color gems are going to do 2200 more damage. And I'm putting here Ivar so that our green moves are going to deal 10% more damage, which really ain't that much really. But our greens are going to destroy one more gem, so we're going to destroy six X gems. I'm not convinced Ivar is useful here. Uh, probably should go with someone like my Macho or Typhoon or someone that adds, or Stacy, someone that adds specifically red damage. Because I'm not sure we're even going to have six left. We'll see. I, and out of those six, like some of them might be in other spat. So I don't think we're going to need to destroy six. I think five would be fine and you should go just with uh, extra damage. I'm just going to try it regardless. All right, let's try this. Okay, well, let's get our red. Lots of greens on the board. Put the submissions out. Let's see how many survive. Already only have six left. He's gonna take this one out on this turn. Figure it as much. As I feared. Oh, actually, we do have. Oh, well, two were already there. That's why, because of my uh, plate that generates them. All right, are any, uh, and none of them are um, each other path, so we actually can benefit from this. Because <laughs> it turns out none of them are on any other's path. Let's take this one. Oh, that's unusual that you got like seven of them, and none of them are in another gem's path. I cleared pretty much the whole board. Reloaded or green move. I only did 400k, so yeah. What the hell? 400k and that stuck. 
Hi. Well, keep in mind, realistically, you'll probably have to run those like three times or four or five like we saw the first time. 400k at five star gold, you should definitely get out of that. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for Andre. I mean, do the gear make a difference? Sure they do. Do they make that big of a difference? Not really. Especially not for the cost they are. Like if we check here on the event for the silver gear, it's at milestone 14, which is the one I just got. You get it here. So, I mean, it is, I mean, it is rare that you get a gear that low on the milestone. Normally gears are like on the last milestone and such, but they got it on the 14th here. So, I mean, that's good for that. Still not easy to reach though. So there's that for the silver. And as far as the gold one, let me show you for the gold gear. You got to go on the portal. It's part of the spend event. And uh, there it is. You got to spend 2000 bucks to uh, get the gold gear as well as other stuff. I mean, 2000 bucks. Fuck's sake. That's what it's going to cost you basically to get two God characters. Like, which are about a hundred a thousand bucks each normally, so like two thousand bucks for the gear. <laughs> what do you do? So, yeah, that is uh, pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. Hey, guys, Gia. Ciao.